everyone, it's Aaron Foda here and I am here to organize today. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit more of a vlog style video. So I don't know about all of you, but when pens don't have like classifications, it really frustrates me. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be making up some of my own classifications because uh, why not? And um, I'm going to have a lot of fun doing it. So if you have a, well, all you really need is a pen and some like sticker paper and you're good or pen and regular paper and tape and you're good. And you can do any one of these things. I'm personally going to uh, print out the actual classifications that I give and put it on my pens. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Archer and Olives. And there's a couple other uh, pens that don't come with colors and I wanna go ahead and do that. So. Um, let's have fun. Okay, so I'm just going to go over some of this really quick. I took some of the images from Archer and Olive and brought them into Photoshop so that I could use the eyedropper tool and get the uh, hex code. And I'm using a random website to like help give me some names. So you can see that hex code down at the bottom is already highlighted. I went to whatever this HTML whatevercolor.com and I decided this is one way to do it. <laughs> I just wanted to get some fun and funky names for these particular collections and then I'm just using text as usual to, and like kind of the style that I use for the text and writing down the collection dash and then the name of the actual pen. So that's my plan for this particular uh, idea of labeling my pens. So I have this warm fall, so that's the WF, and then there's the cool fall, CF, and then all of the others, T for tropical, uh, P for primary, and then J for jewel. So that's how I'm labeling these because I do want to keep them kind of in their relative collections. And I want to use these to do some sort of art challenge where I'm taking like one from each collection and uh, making some sort of art piece out of it. Or um, one of the random generations uh, using Jazz's app, kind of like I did with the other art challenge where it just gives you like a random prompt. You can also input your own um, items to choose from. And so I think I'm going to do that where I use these particular, um, I, I won't say numbers because it's really just the actual, well, the quote unquote names. These aren't the actual names. Obviously, uh, our Trinola did not give us names with the colors. Some of the other ones that I look at, the Sharpie pen and the um, Twin Tones, on the website they do have like color names associated with them but this one doesn't so I decided just to create my own with this website. So I'm just going to speed you through the rest of this. It's really just me using the color dropper, grabbing the hex code, and then putting it in that website and I'm only going to show you this uh, warm fall collection because I do the same thing for the rest of them and I don't think that's interesting. <laughs> so I'm just going to speed you through the rest of these. And then from there, I am bringing it into Cricut. So you see I added a white background to all of these um, particular, <laughs> someone was calling me, apparently. Uh, I added a white background so that it cuts around all the shapes. Usually I like to do more of a kiss cut, but that wasn't really a big deal. I was using the uh, clear sticker paper, so I didn't really find that to be too big of a deal. So I brought it into Cricut Design Space. I uh, sized it down so that it would fit all of my pens. I go back and I do this with the other ones as well. And obviously I need two since I have both the 0.7 millimeter and the three millimeter. And you can see it cutting right here. Oh, I think this footage is actually from the shiny white paper that I tried at first, but then it was not 
drawing in time. So I went back and I did it on the clear sticker paper because I just, uh, it's fine. This is really nice paper. It just takes forever and a day to dry. And then, like I said, on the twin, on the Tumba website, it has the actual colors that are included on here as well. And then I went on Amazon, or I think I just did a Google search, and I saw that the Sharpie pens also have, like, technical color um, associated with it. So I, like I said, I'm not going to be able to do that for the Sharpies because I didn't think about the whole <laughs> black pen situation. Um, so I'm going to have to rethink that. So you can see this is a long process to do this, to add every single one. <laughs> I wish I would have, I don't know, done this a while ago. Particularly, it's not super necessary for the primary, but if I'm going to do this with the other sets, then I might as well do it for the primary as well. So you can see I'm just taking the sticker, putting it on. I'm using a, a tweezer because uh, I find that it's a little bit easier to scrape off the sticker, not to scrape it off, but um, just to pick out the sticker to put that on. So going one by one by one by one <laughs> through all of the collection, and uh, because this is a long process, I'm just going to put some music on and uh, maybe it's a relaxing process for you. I'm going to slow it down for these newer colors so that you can take a look since I won't be able to do a pen test for these. Um, I, I will go ahead and show you in a swatch later on. Um, probably will post it on Instagram, but I'm not ready to work on <laughs> it in this video because of some time constraints. So I'm going to slow this down a little bit so that you can see all of the colors.
Okay, so I have all the Archer and Olives done. I have the primary set, which in the voiceover, I mentioned that um, I just went with the regular colors, red, orange, yellow, because the, like the, the, how the actual picture was, it wasn't like, I don't know, it, like this was called Mandy, but this is very clearly red. So it's like a weird lighting thing. I felt like some of the others were truer. So I have the primary, I have the tropical set, I have the jewel set. These were all released prior to it. Um, some of these in particular, I'm going to go back and see if I can get a better idea because this is not shadow green. <laughs> so I had not uh, done extensive work with these new collections yet. So I didn't um, think to go back and check. So this is the hot fall and then, or warm fall. And then this is the cool fall, um, which uh, <laughs> the cool fall I love you. <laughs> Actually, the warm fall too, because this has uh, several purples. And uh, I don't know if you know me, but I love purple. So uh, <laughs> these kits on here, uh, they did do some changes. Uh, they are quite a bit smoother um, than the previous ones. And I will do a swatch for you at a different time. This video is really just about me organizing my life. And then there was like a little bit of an issue. If you can see here that um, the actual marker type isn't correct. So I'm not sure if they will have fixed that by the time um, they went live, but uh, my pre-order version, uh, because I'm affiliated with Archer and Olive, that was not correct. And then instead of doing stickers, it's actually printed. The color is actually printed on the tube now. So quite a few changes involved. Did I just put that in the wrong one? No. Okay. That's in the correct one. Um, so I will do a swatch for you all at a later time. Uh, I just, <laughs> that's, that's not where my brain is at right now. My brain is okay, I need to organize my life. So uh, I figured organizing pens was fun. So I'm going to do the same thing to the Twin Tones. I'm going to do the same thing um, to the Sharpie pens, which, oh, a Sharpie pen isn't going to work with the style that I did because I printed it on clear paper. Okay, so maybe not right now because we're running up against the time that... Um, I need to complete this video so that I can edit and all that stuff in time. So maybe this is it. <laughs> I will go ahead and show you how I'm trying to figure out how to organize in the closet with these pens. Um, because I don't have any more room in my organizer. So I might just have to order another organizer. So uh, stay tuned. So don't mind a little bit of this disorganization. Here I need to organize the ornaments. So I don't have any more of these cubes. So I think the big thing is going to be getting some more, maybe like two more of these cubes, putting it here and then putting um, this rectangular unit on top of that. I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna have to do because right now I've just been stacking them like I have the jelly rolls up here. I've just been stacking them on top and of course that's not really going to work for me in my life if especially if our turn olive keeps coming out with more colors so i'm gonna go ahead and get more two more organizers and hopefully that will end up working for me and here is honey hello honey hi 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 and then the two boys hello hi boys hi boys Harley's like, excuse me, no. Excuse me, no. <laughs> so that's that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, and I hope you all like this video. Next stop is organizing these drawers by putting labels on them. Basically, what I have is them organized by year. And then they're organized by sticker kits inside of that. So these are all the moon and stars. 
These are all the Cozy Falls, etc. So basically this is from 2018, this is from 2019, and this is from 2020. So I'm gonna start organizing those drawers with some labels along with these. These have a lot of foils and scripts in them, all the things, trackers, uh, different mini sheets, you know. So that's what I'm gonna organize next. Hopefully I will have figured something out organizing wise. You can also see right over here that I have some of the Cricut mats. Um, I ordered some of those uh, S rings, but they didn't fit on the actual bar. So I have to order different ones or um, adjust those so that they will fit across the bar that is in my office. But right now I have my Cricut sheets hanging up. Um, so <laughs> I've been doing a little bit here and there um, while in between a lot of releases and things like that. Black Friday is coming and there's a ton of new releases. Um, and I will go ahead and show you a sneak peek. These are sticker books. They're reusable sticker books. Um, and then there's a couple more things coming. So I just wanna give you a sneak peek there. That one is actually gonna be coming uh, November 6th, but the other ones are coming on Black Friday. So gonna be fun. Anyways, I hope you like this little bit of a vlog style slash organize my life video. Um, if you want to see more of these types of videos, I actually do have a couple planned for December because I am doing a vlogmas, but a lot of the vlogmas is going to be kind of centered around topics. So for example, a lot of you have asked for my mug collection and a video for my mug collection is going to come in vlogmas. So some of those really random style videos that a lot of people have asked for, those are going to be saved for vlogmas. So the first 15 days of um, December is going to be vlogmas. So, but in November, I am scaling back to one video per week and those are going to be posted on Friday. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any more requests for these style videos or like something like the mug collection video that is really good types of stuff for vlogmas let me know and i will go ahead and write it down um so please like subscribe hit that notification bell all that kind of jazz i will see you next time bye everyone